Today we're gonna make this quick and awesome kinetic text animation here in After Effects. Let's create a new composition, rename it as text. I gotta go with 1080p, 30 frames, two seconds, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in whatever you want. I gotta go with the letter P from Panther and I gotta select the layer, press the letter S, scale it up. And I gotta double click on the letter, press Enter and press it again. You can also decrease the distance in between the letters. For example, I'm on 11.5. I can decrease it, for example, 11.3, and it's gonna get more and more closer. And I gotta go with a humane font. And of course, this animation had been inspired from the humane font and position it somewhere here and go align it horizontally. And I gotta collapse it, press Control D to duplicate, bring it to the right, press and hold Shift to isolate. I gotta bring it somewhere here. I gotta double click, rename. I'm gonna go with letter A, enter, letter A again, adjust the kerning, duplicate again, drag it again, till you get the full word. Now from here, we're gonna need to reposition it to the center. And of course you cannot select all and try to eyeball it. So instead of that, what I gotta do is right click here, go to new, select, Null object. And you can see here we got a little a rectangle and the anchor point is right here at the corner. I'm gonna press and hold control and double click here on a pen behind. So it's gonna jump into the center. And now I gotta position this rectangle on the top text. Now, of course, we don't know where's the center, but I can stretch the rectangle all the way out in order to find it out. So you can see this way, we're gonna need to bring it in more. I'm gonna try it here, match it till it's perfect. And of course, you can also bring the vertical one and arrange it correctly. There you go. Now I'm going to select all the letters and I'm going to go to the pick whip and select one of these pick whips and drag it into the null. So this way I can select the null and I can position it to the center. Now I'm going to go to the line vertically and horizontally. So the main point is the top text to be perfectly into the center. And now we're going to need to mask it and the bottom text is going to disappear. So I'm going to scroll in, select the rectangle here and I'm going to draw a rectangle on this text. So it's gonna cover it up nicely. Right click on the rectangle layer, rename it, rectangle, select all the letters and go to the right and you can see these track mat pick whips. If you don't have them, you can click on the toggle switch here. So it is going to appear like this and drag one of the pick whips into the rectangle. So now we masked it. I gotta collapse the rectangle, drag it under the null. And also we're gonna need to select the pick whip from the rectangle and drag it into the null like this. And now all we need to do is animate the letters. So I gotta select all the letters, press the letter P for position, activate the stopwatch. And let's bring this to the 15th frame. As you can see, if I scroll in, you can see these red line, all the letters are ending a little bit beyond the red line. And I'm gonna pull the text up, also press shift to isolate. And I'm gonna zoom it in and I'm gonna pull it up here where the other text, which is on the top was, and I'm gonna push it a little bit out. So it's gonna match the previous text on the top. Now we're gonna select these keyframes at the right and let's go to the graph editor here. Let's go to the graph type and options and make sure the edit speed graph is checked. And all you need to do is just grab this handle and drag it, pull it down at this corner, drag it all the way down, release it, bring it back. And this way it is going to make a more faster and more dynamic animation at the beginning. And all we need to do is delay some of the letters. So the letter P is going to start first and then I'm gonna to need to delay the letter A. So I'm gonna select the keyframes of the letter A, press and hold Alt and press the right arrow. So it is going to delay it like this. Select the letter N, press and hold Alt, right arrow two times and so on and so forth. This is gonna be three times and there you go. Let's see what we got. Also you can slow down the animation if you like. You can select all the keyframes and you can pull them a little bit more out in order to slow it down maybe at the first second. Oh, nice. And although at least if you want, you can add some blur. I gotta collapse all these letters. I gotta go to the toggle switch and you can see here we got this blur option. I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna add for all of the letters which are selected. Click on play and it's gonna add some blur. And this is how you make this awesome text animation here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.